Hey everyone, I'm having a great time rediscovering Dungeons and Dragons 4th Edition, and today I want to rank the first level fighter powers from the player's handbook to give you an idea of which ones I think are your best bets. At first level, a fighter in Dungeons and Dragons 4th Edition will get two at will powers, one encounter power, and one daily power. So let's start with the at will powers. There are four powers to choose from Cleave, Reaping Strike, Sure Strike, and Tide of Iron. At will powers can be used as many times per day as you like. The powers have a lot of similarities, so I'm going to ignore the parts that are the same and focus on what is different. They're all martial powers, and they all use a melee weapon. They also all require a standard action and target a single creature. Looking at what is different, I think Cleave is probably the lowest ranking one. It allows you to deal normal damage to an enemy you attack, and then additional damage to an adjacent enemy. The important thing here is that the power only works if you have multiple enemies adjacent to you. And keep in mind that the damage you deal to the second enemy is your strength modifier, which could just be a few hit points. And remember that the extra damage does not increase, so as you face more difficult monsters you might find that this power does not scale very well. Reaping Strike deals normal damage on a hit, but it has the advantage that it also deals some damage on a miss. If you miss, then you deal half your strength modifier normally, and then your full strength modifier if you are wielding a two-handed weapon. It's not a lot of damage, but it's a good option as your default attack since you are guaranteed to always deal at least a few hit points of damage, and that can be particularly good against a lot of minions. Then we get into the two that I would actually choose. First of all, Sure Strike. It's the only one that provides a bonus to the attack. It deals only normal weapon damage, but if you want to maximize your chances of hitting, then this is a good one to use. And then what I think is the best one is Tide of Iron. It deals normal damage, but provides some great movement options. In addition to the damage, you get to push the target of your attack one square and then shift into the square that was vacated when you push them. It can be great to push a monster into a position where they're going to be flanked or up against a wall or into some fire or a pit or any number of other things. Don't underestimate the importance of being able to move creatures around the battlefield. Next, we have the encounter powers. These powers can only be used once per encounter. We can choose one power from covering attack, passing attack, spinning sweep, and steel serpent strike. All the options are martial powers that use a melee weapon against a single target using a standard action. They each use a standard attack versus the target's armor class, and none of the powers grants any bonus to the attack. The weakest of the bunch to me is Steel Serpent Strike. It does deal double the weapon die damage, and the target is slowed and it cannot shift. I just feel that this is an arbitrarily specific set of effects, and it would be difficult to find a situation where this exact benefit would be useful. I'm sure it has its moments, but to carry this as your only encounter power from first level seems like it might be a stretch. The next one on my list is Passing Attack, and it's kind of like an enhanced version of Cleave. On a hit, you deal normal amount of damage, but it allows you to shift one square and then make a second attack on a different creature. The second attack has a plus two bonus to the attack, and it deals normal damage. The nice thing is you do make two attacks against two different creatures, and you deal full damage to each if you hit. But I feel that unless that first hit defeats the initial creature that you attacked, then you wouldn't really want to shift and attack a different creature. You would more likely want to just keep attacking that same creature. So the usage of this one I'm not really sure about. The next one on my list would be Covering Attack. It deals double weapon die damage and allows an ally that is adjacent to the target to shift two squares. This can actually be a really good way to not only deal some extra damage to a target, but allow an ally that is in over their head to get out of range of the creature without actually provoking an opportunity attack. But my favorite encounter power for a first level fighter is Spinning Sweep. This one to me can be a real game changer. You deal the normal amount of damage, but you also knock the target prone automatically. It can really shift things on the battlefield, because once they get knocked prone, they're more vulnerable to attacks, it's less likely that they'll be able to attack someone else, and then they have to use some of their action if they want to stand up again. And so that's a long period of time that they're going to be kind of taken out of the fight. And finally, we have the daily powers. We get to choose one of three options, Brute Strike, Comeback Strike, and Villain's Menace. All of them are martial powers using a melee weapon against a single target, they require a standard action, and all of them use a normal attack with no extra bonuses. Brute Strike and Comeback Strike immediately jump out at me because they are both reliable powers, meaning that you can use them again if your attack misses. This is a huge benefit for a daily power where you can take a chance on it and feel comfortable knowing that even if it misses, you'll get to try again. Brute Strike deals three weapon die damage, while Comeback Strike deals two weapon die damage, but also allows you to spend a healing surge. 
they're both pretty solid powers to choose, and I, I don't think you can go wrong with either one of them, but I do feel that Villain's Menace is actually the better choice. It's not a reliable power, but it provides a pretty hefty benefit even on a miss. On a hit, you get two weapon die damage, and you also get a plus two bonus to attacks and a plus four bonus to damage against that same target until the end of the encounter. If you miss, you still get a plus one bonus on attacks and a plus two bonus on damage against that target for the rest of the encounter also. You would definitely want to use this on a creature that you think will be in the fight for a while, and the fact that you get a bonus to the attack and a bonus to the damage, even if you miss on the initial attack, is really a good benefit. So to recap, my choices for the best powers for a first level fighter in D&D 4th Edition. For at will powers, sure strike so that you can get a power that gives you a bonus to a hit. Tide of Iron so that you can push the enemy around on the battlefield. Spinning Sweep is the encounter power that I would choose for its ability to automatically knock the target prone. And Villain's Menace for your daily power. It's not reliable, but it grants a nice bonus to attack and damage even on a miss, which could be great against monsters that hang around for a while. But let me know your thoughts. Did I get these right? Do you prefer some different options? Love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. If you want perks and access to bonus streams, please consider becoming a member. That link is down in the description. Until next time, take care.